we are back. Hello, all. Uh, for for the second part of second episode of Autumn in the Ancients. Uh, but before we go to Capital Cluster, uh, people might think that that there's a really important event coming up uh, soon, and you would be right. And that is Jen's birthday, uh, uh, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow. So, yep. Not, Yay. not because of Christmas or Kwanzaa or her. <laughs> not like, uh, those other holidays. <laughs> any other holiday. Because, because uh, but tomorrow you should all Jen's. Uh, uh, oh no, uh, we got our we got our order wrong in January. In, in Barb's oh, spot. No. <laughs> okay, so it's all confusing, and I'm in your spot. Oh, oh we're no. all out of sync. I should have oh, fixed this during the break. The- <laughs> it's okay. I'll just switch anyway. So this is confusing. If you look at the hi, I'm Sean Mitner. <laughs> I'm Jen Martin. <laughs> and tomorrow you should tweet me at Jen Martin eighty. Right there. <laughs> right there. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's totally. Thank you. Both. It's totally my birthday tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday! <laughs> yeah. So happy birthday. We have we have cards in the mail. Hopefully they arrive. Oh yay! So, um, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the map view so that we don't have all our heads in the wrong spots. <laughs> and uh, go to the galactic cluster. <laughs> all righty. Is that Hi. showing? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. I can just fit enough roll 20 map. The Autumn of the Ancients map is amazing, but like the volume. Ginormous. Map, it is huge. It is so ginormous. Uh yeah. Like the game is pretty much designed, but we're still trying to figure out what like version what what that map looks like so that it we can actually make it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the map is massive. I'm going to see if I can zoom in a tiny bit. I will probably break the universe doing this. Let's see, did that. All right, that seems like it's slightly more readable, although still not completely. The capital cluster, the light of the seven suns. Uh... Well, Banana, this is uh, your home world, so why don't you move the liminal there and tell us what it's all like. Ooh. Okay. Um, I'm going to move it right now. Is it moving? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, so upon uh, entering the, the cluster, you see this one planet that we're about to head into, um, and it's like a like a swirl of purple and blacks so it looks like these black clouds is like um just like purple all over the place and um as we're getting closer as the, sh- uh, the liminal starts landing it looks like uh the the purple and the blacks they're like um they're sort of sentient and they're greeting us as we land. Um, so they're sort of like uh, like little insects sort of. Um, and they're just following us as we get closer and closer to the ground. Um, and as we land, we land on <coughs> what looks like a marble platform. So it's like a white marble platform. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Cool. Uh, yeah. Well, I I want to roll a die because we don't do that very often and it's fun to do it. So, um, Jen, remind me um, when you go into a space that has a variable outcome, do you roll that beforehand when you're, you're setting the scene so you know what it's um, going on? Or do you like play up for a while and then? It's up to you. 
how you okay. want to do it. If you have like a very definite scene that you want to start and then have the die like affect it, you can totally do that. Or you can just roll the die before you, you know, establish any fiction at all. And then you can do your thing. Yeah. All right. I, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to start and then see where we go. Um, while, uh, when landing, um, like still in the ship, like we, we, we see that like the ship has sort of shuddered, uh, done, done that stabilizing thing as it, as it, as it's landed on this white marble. Um, and you said all like these insects were following us as we, as we, uh, yeah. so they're just like, maybe not near the entrance or anything. Like they're just trailing behind us. Sort okay. Of. Um, uh, through like one of the clear crystals on the side of the hull, uh, she can look out and see the, see the insects that were, you know, that are, that are behind us. Um, and, uh, says Pog, should we go find your family? Is this the uh, one that you live on? Yes, this is. Um, I mean, I don't know. Should we get resources first? Isn't there like something we have to do beforehand? Wouldn't or... that be rude though? I mean, if someone finds out that you're, that you're, um, you're here and you haven't checked in, have you, uh, I'm going to say that I think like, you know, uh, at this, in this, in this science fiction sort of like uh, communication technology exists planet wide, right? Like where you, you can, you can, have you, have you reached out? Well, we should just go. Like, I mean, and, and Kamal's like giddy about the idea of like seeing family. Uh, well, here's the thing. I'm kind of sort of exiled from this planet. So I might need a disguise of some sort to get to my family. And also we can't let every one of my family members know that I'm here. Did you say exiled? Uh, maybe. Yes. Why? So, long story. Um, yeah. funny story. Um, someone thinks that I vandalized the the capital um the capital's main statue of uh, one of our government leads, but I did not do that. Someone framed me, so. Why uh, would someone frame you? I don't know. I have no idea. Why would the director of uh, public work <laughs> uh, defra defraud, a vandalize a statue? I didn't do this, mind you. I didn't do any of this. This is, someone did this and framed me. It seems ludicrous. Well, it is. It is ludicrous. Well, let's go scout ahead and see whether or not they've figured this out. I'm sure by now they've figured out that uh, it wasn't. Really, if you're, if you're innocent, we should we should protest oh. these charges. Oh, yes. um, maybe I should put on a disguise first before they try to kick me off the planet. I think that's a great idea. I should put on a disguise. Nice. So. What, is, what does Nebo disguise look like? Yeah, I was just say, what, is a, what does a tree frog in disguise look like? It's just like a mustache. As you say, is it just a mustache? Oh. <laughs> of course. Like the Monopoly man, but a tree frog. A tree frog. Awesome. Um, yeah, so I think we like cut to import. And are you. Um, is is the this particular planet uh, of the capital like mono species? Is there only tree frog people here? Or uh, there... Yeah, I think it's most it's only tree frog people um, and the bugs. <laughs> awesome. So um, cutting ahead, I think we we still see there these trails of bugs um, uh, following us and. And as we like enter the first settlement, um, and you know, people are. What do you imagine the technology level of of this planet is like? Um, 
I'm thinking like like steampunk, but not like gears and stuff. Everything's made out of wood. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Uh, so there's like the clatter of of like wooden uh, like paddles like cracking into each other to like push engines and things like that. Yeah. Um, and uh, and there's like uh, steam going up and all of these uh, uh, tree frog people. And that's what I want to see as we like go ahead. Whether uh, what so as we're scouting ahead, uh, I think the danger we fear is reprisals from your people who exiled you. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna roll a die. Uh, and unfortunately, we set up roll twenty just to we set up uh, OBS just to see the map. So you will not. So audience, you will not see um, the die roll, but we'll tell you. Do you have um, a tag or a, like a, uh, a a thing that was assigned to you? Do I have a trait? Oh, a trait. I don't yes. think I have a trait, no. Okay. Um, let me take a look. <laughs> Callisto. No, I'm not Callisto. I'm Kamala. Kamala. I think, I think Nevo got no, maybe not. Somebody got a trait. Um, I got eminent. Yes. Okay. Oh, stat. Um, you did. But I think didn't Ori get something too? I vaguely remember that from last time. Well, if if you have a trait and it's like applicable in the role, you can add plus one, which is why yeah. I was asking. But if Sean doesn't have a trait, then I don't have a trait, okay. and I rolled a six, so nice. <laughs> I don't think so that's <laughs> you get to pronounce that ship name. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Uh, let me see. Uh, audience, thankfully, this is small enough. Oh, I, I know how to. Okay. Uh, so as we're going through the, um, as we're entering, um, the as we're entering, we see a ship. Uh, overhead and it's landing just where we were you know it's at the port uh we're, we're sort of in the in the in the uh wood industrial uh settlement part that we see in the port this massive uh 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 capital vessel clearly not a local uh clearly not a local uh vessel from the capital cluster but not from this particular planet um and it's um, uh, the bottom of it has all these tendrils hanging from it, um, and the, um, the insects that were, like, flying along, flying along, um, they, like, flee away from it, but one is not, like, is not quite fast enough to get away, and, like, it kind of, like, gets sucked into, like, one of the tendrils and disappears, um, uh, as the, as the thing, like, uh, giant spaghetti monster style, um, uh, uh, comes down and it's like clearly like four times the size of the little it's this massive ship the lapetus uh the capital vessel lapetus uh unless that's an eye it's probably an eye the apetus lowercase l is an eye and uppercase i <laughs> there we go i can totally do this the the apetus uh comes down and it lands with a thud Land, it land, and like a bunch of the wooden, these wooden buildings, uh, even as far as we are away, like still shudder. Um, uh, yeah, yes, thank you, Dark Lavender Void. Uh, we definitely have crunching sounds of, 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 <laughs> of wood. Um, and I think the Apodus is spells, um, capital government figures, um, people who. Uh, I think that, that the music that's playing in the back intonates that this is bad news for um, for Pog, uh, for Nebo, uh, if, if major important government officials um, arrive. And um, I, if it's okay, I just sort of imagine like your mustache kind of like, like <laughs> ever so slightly uh, when this when this ship arrives. Um, 
yeah. Uh, so Kamala looks after, like, we all sort of, like, watch it land and sort of absorb the spaceport. Um, Kamala looks and says, are those the people that excelled you? Those definitely are. We should start walking really fast in the other direction. Uh, I, I, or we could try to explain it to them. No, no. They won't understand. They will exile all of us from the capital area. So we should definitely... So question about exiling. If you're exiled, you can't come back, right? Right. So if you do come back, what happens then? Um, <laughs> I think that should <laughs> just be the cut right there. <laughs> unless you wanted it. Unless you're like, no, no. no. Yeah, in which case we can. <laughs> we just keep getting kicked out. <laughs> nice. All right. That was that was fun. I like rolling dice because it helps me if I'm like, I don't know what I should do with the scene. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. I will add another creative constraint that I'm not, that I can't predict. Uh, awesome. Who wants to frame the next scene? <coughs> I have an idea for a small short scene. Cool. Um, so I think, uh, some time after, some nebulous time after, um, I don't know if we, you know, sat in, you know, sort of detention area of the capital ship for a while, or if we managed to make it away. <coughs> anyway, um, actually, Banana, what do you think? Because this actually might change my thing. Do you want us to have gotten caught or not? Um, a little bit of both. I'm not sure. If we're, like, uh, I could play with either one. Um, so I'd be cool with, like, someone doing scouting ahead or something like that. Hmm. I think, I think at least where we left it, the idea of us still being kind of trying to keep a low profile, um, makes sense but again it's I, i'd also be fine if, if we just fast forwarded through we tried to keep a low profile and that didn't work at all yeah <laughs> well because i, I want to do med bay uh -huh. but we're either so i'm either doing the med bay of the capital ship or we're skipping past all of that drama and doing like a med bay in our own ship uh i don't have a particular like preference between the two of them how about we yeah, I mean, this is this is science fiction. There are pew 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 space <laughs> monsters, right? Mm -hmm. um, I, how about we? Uh, well, I guess if we fled to our ship, um, they would be like, "Our ship is bigger than your ship," and and uh, so we'd have to like. Well, fly. but they we'd have to they, fly. They, I was just gonna say, like, like one thing that we could say is like, "Cool, where was the liminal?" And the liminal probably has some clout with the capital cluster. Sure. Um, so if the liminal is going to kind of protect Nebo, then maybe the capital people would kind of leave us alone for a little while. <coughs> yeah. I, I think it's fair to say that we may have gotten in a scuffle. One of us may have gotten hurt in that scuffle. And, uh, and then we could be on, on either of those, uh, in either of those places. There also could be like a med bay on the, planet itself that we've like yeah fair. that we're hiding in or mm -hmm. someone's patching us up avoiding the uh the the iapetus <laughs> yeah that was that was not kind to just throw that in there <laughs> i was like lapetus sure no problem oh no that's not the apetus man yeah. i don't know the apetus <laughs> That one was all Adam. There's a few names in there where I'm like, wait, what? How do you pronounce that? <laughs> I think um, having those on the list of like possible, <laughs> great. Um, yeah. it's, it's conceivable that for the ones that are on the map itself that are likely to come up. I don't know. It's only came up out of six, so. Fair. 
Okay. Um, okay. So, um, yeah, I think that I'll be, uh, that we managed to make our way to like a med bay on the planet. Cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, th I think that I got, you know, scuffed up somehow, whether I like tripped and fell or I got hit by a phaser or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, so, uh, I actually, I, I don't think that either Nebo or Kamala is in this scene. I think it's just, um, Callisto, um, sort of waiting in the room, you know, in boring sort of hospital-ish room. Um, <coughs> like she's, she, they've sort of taken care of her <clears throat> and whatnot. And, um. She's kind of waiting there and we see the sort of doctor person come in and, uh, you know, looking at a, at a chart and it gives her some, some rather bad news that she has fallen ill with the uh, disorder that Kamala has been created to this, the sort of galaxy plague thing that we set up way back when. Oh no, the... Uh -huh. yeah. Plague that minced that yeah. the Minsk, uh, that is the Minsk, of, the Minsk plague. Yes. The Minsk plague. Yeah. <laughs> that's go. That's getting written down. The Minsk plague. <laughs> it was so bad. We named it after my species. <laughs> oh, wow. So bad. go um yikes that's bad yep um i think um uh, i imagine that a doctor would have a lot of questions for glisto and one of them would be like have you traveled to minsk <laughs> <laughs> well no <laughs> like is i mean because that is like like nobody goes there because everybody is sick, um, uh, but I, I think you know. Uh, um, yeah, there, there's definitely like a sense of like you must have done something to catch this disease because you don't just get it from like right a splinter uh, from a broken wooden board or a uh, <laughs> if, if that if that I, you, I don't want to. I don't want to. No, uh, yeah, no, that's cool. I, I also like the idea of the doctor like interrogating her, partly yeah. because he's trying to take care of her, but also because like, oh my god, we don't want this on our planet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this planet is fond, fond of exiling people. We already know that. So yeah, <laughs> we're the dumbest things. I know. <laughs> uh, Nice. Yeah. No, I think that's tar that's terrible. That's like it's fatal. It's it's the Minsk play is not a not a happy one. Um how does how does I just I know that like the scene it only plays out in uh -huh. there, but like how does how does Costa take it? What does she what does she say? <laughs> I think that she's sort of like stunned silence. Um because yeah, she's not supposed to have gotten this, and that was my um, point. yeah, um, yeah. So I I think it's just like oh my god, what what am I gonna do? I think she's just silent. Like a million thoughts are racing through her head. Cool. And we cut with that to, to Nebo scene. Um, ooh. I'm gonna move. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Um, tale from your homeland. Seems appropriate. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and convince Kamala to come with me to go find my family, but. Uh, we're going to have to sneak around a lot and I'm going to tell her a story about um, uh, another one of my species, the bee. Um, 
sneaking around to do something that's right. So it's one of those like doing a bad thing for a good thing. For a good cause. Stealing yeah. stealing bread to to feed your family. Right. Stories. Yeah. <laughs> um, um Yeah. So uh at the Capitol there's a story where um a very uh a very hungry little beeb um once stole some bread to feed his family <laughs> and um it went very well for him even though it was the bad thing which is why we should be sneaking around avoiding all of these government officials to find my family to say hi so we can get bread no breads no there's i mean we can get bread if we wanted to but that's not a part of this plan the plan is that we're going to sneak both of us around to go say hi to my family real quick i like all of that plan except for the sneaking around part i mean okay we could just dress you up like a beeb You'll look just like one of us. No one will notice. I sort of am lacking, or I have several <laughs> additional appendages. And um, that's fine. The mints can be look nothing alike. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think just putting a mustache, I mean, you wouldn't see it with all the fur anyway. <laughs> Um, no, but I, it's not that I'm afraid of getting caught, but I am afraid of getting caught. I mean, I hope Callisto's okay. Um, sure, she'll be fine. I'm sure. I'm it was sure a, I, we'll was just a, come back for her later. We're, we're kind of on the time crunch. Um... Yeah, okay. Well... All right, let's go. Um, and uh, I think I think Kamala's gonna ruin it. I think when we're like <laughs> sneaking, um, she just is like she's like very certain in that if you didn't do anything wrong, you shouldn't be punished. Like these these things. She she has a she's very naive but has like some values <laughs> absolute and one of them is like well if you're the director of architecture and you were just <laughs> you're just moving a statue around then clearly you couldn't have been vandalizing it um, so uh, yeah so so there there so there's a there's a moment when like we're sneaking around. And she sees somebody that looks like they're like a government official. And she is clearly about to break the plan. And she's like, I'm just going to go tell them your real story. And then I'm sure everything will be okay. And she looks like she's going to like go to reveal yourselves. What, what does Nebo do when Kamala um, tries I'm to miss? I'm going to put my hand in front of Kamala. And I'm just going to be like, like they say in my home country, the... The capital. Um, flies can't all go. One fly that strays away destroys the entire pack of flies. <laughs> it's a common saying. It's a common saying. <laughs> one one errant fly <laughs> destroys all the other flies. The hive yep. of flies. Yep. yep, that's why you can't do this. <laughs> um. Yeah, Kamala stops, but she's crestfallen. Um, yeah, thanks, Pupa Burr. You're right, don't split the party. Um, I think that, like, it finally clicks to her that, like, something isn't right. That, that, that Nebo isn't telling her the whole truth. And, um, and she looks kind of crestfallen, which on a goat spider uh, <laughs> is a look of, like, several eyes kind of like turning to the side like not to look at you like, like look away and like the horns kind of 
closing, like furrowing a little bit, like the horns kind of push in, just kind of like make a frowny face, you know, a little frown, frowny horns. Um, they, they, they just jut in slight, ever so slightly. Uh, could also be an aggressive stance, if not for the fact that she was looking so sullen. Oh my God. I'll be a good fly and not ruin <laughs> the fly hive. <laughs> Thanks, Kamala. I'll be very quick, and I just need to say hi to my sister, and then we can just leave. Uh, are you are you going to introduce me? Of course. Okay. Uh, yeah, she she really wants to meet yeah. family. I think this is what gets her. <laughs> is like she really wants to meet she doesn't get what family is so i mean Aww. she understands it in theory uh she like knows what a sister is she just doesn't <laughs> have it doesn't has never seen one so uh cool wonder if there's a scene that could be uh a tale from the homeland Calm chatter. Red Bay. i mean growing tensions between us <laughs> yeah there we go that's perfect <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect so you know, nebo brings home a goat spider <laughs> right. so what is your family what is your your 40 some odd uh beep family um uh it, maybe <coughs> what is what is family life like um in your, um, your homestead it's pretty close uh we're all very close but um you know we always we have fights every so often. We have arguments every so often just because, uh, you know, maybe one person wants to do something that's not like the family trade anymore. Yeah. Um, say, you know, architecture, for example. Right. Um, and uh, I'm thinking that my sister and I probably have, uh, we have like those kinds of arguments very often because like the family trades probably um uh like we're a group of freelance writers cool. and yeah and that's gotten them very upset that i chose to do architecture <laughs> uh awesome um jen would you play would you be up for playing um uh nebo's sister yeah cool Banana, how am I? How am I playing this sister? Am I playing it happy to see you or not happy to see you? Um, let's say not happy. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. I was hoping so, you'd yeah. say that. Yeah, I was gonna say it so, seems like there's <laughs> it seems like there's tension. Why do you keep calling him Nebo? His name's Pog. Kamala, not not right now. <laughs> His name is Nebo. What are you? What do you Kamala mean, what am is I? a is a is a friend of mine a, a friend of yours a, a, co a co-worker yeah and where are you working now uh at the federation of uh we've been assigned a very important task yeah you haven't, you haven't heard we're escorting the liminal right she's actually kind of speechless at that <laughs> she's like looking at <laughs> looking at nebo Looking at Kamala. <laughs> Looking at Nepo. Wait, really? Yeah. Yeah. The woman how, did, how did you how did you land that one? What kind of architecture does the liminal need? A lot of job hunting and hard work pays off. I um, guess so. What I... what's your name? <laughs> I have to maybe come with a name. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a whole list. There's Sasha. A whole list. Sasha. What's it, yeah. Sasha? Sasha. Neva, sister. Sasha. Cool. Um. Well, everyone who was chosen was chosen for a very specific reason. Um, I've been told that my particular genetic composition is going to be necessary, probably in some, I'm guessing some kind of awful, horrific way, because that's been my experience so far, um, that, uh, that it, it'll be necessary. And, and Callisto, who's traveling with us, who got hurt, unfortunately, 
um, she is she can speak to Liminal, and uh, and fine if you insist. Nebo, uh, he's with us because he's in charge of what? Um, a lot of things. Right. Yep. Making sure that we work together as a team. <laughs> in charge of a lot of things. You know, Nebo did, one... did Nebo tell you about why he left? Yeah, he said that his work was unappreciated, that he had done this this master work of architecture and that then that it got misunderstood as vandalism. I keep trying to tell him that if he just explains himself, uh, I'm sure the I mean, the, the capital ship is here even. You can speak with the, the, the capital officials. And, and uh, She kind of like blinks uh, at that. I actually, <laughs> I think that Sasha and Nebo like have had like a big falling out about this exile thing. I'm not totally sure why. <laughs> but I think they got into like a big fight about it. Sasha, I'm just here to say that I'm really sorry about all the fight and all the drama and everything that has happened. And I just want us to be a family again. Does that mean you're going to stay? Save. Save what? No, stay here. Oh, stay. At home, well, yeah. Oh, uh, right. I can't. Um, I really want to, but I can't. You know, there's this great thing called phoning someone um we could do that and, and what's your phone number because for a while it was impossible to get a hold of you right about that it's been changing a lot i've been getting a lot of different phones things have happened you know with the whole exile thing sure so sasha why don't you just sasha if you're nebo's sister why don't you clear his name why don't you tell like the officials what really happened and so he doesn't have to be exiled from his own home i mean <coughs> families have they, like they interviewed me and they either didn't want to listen or didn't believe me i don't know hmm. well thank you sasha but but you believe me about right you mean you you know that he didn't vandalize some statue and like paint it with a mustache or anything like that and like make fun of the capital leaders, right? <clears throat> right. Mm -hmm. Also, that seems like a really ridiculous reason to exile somebody. <laughs> it, it, does, it does feel like overkill. <laughs> <laughs> um, should we cut there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That works for me. <laughs> <sighs> I, think, I think we're starting to get, like, I've been like, mm -hmm. I don't really know what Kamala's thing is other than being afraid. Uh, and, and, naive but i think we're starting... Kamala's the straight man yeah. yeah i know that might be a bad choice <laughs> um all right i want to know what happens with Callisto. what's up with your oh she'll be fine she's got a like a fatal disease Oh, At the be beginnings fine. of a fatal disease to which you have the possible cure. It'll be to fine. which the people in Echo Station have the possible cure. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure Kamala will, uh, yeah. You, you, you don't want goat DNA. <laughs> <laughs> you have made the mustache of the statue glorious <laughs> of the glorious leader. The only appropriate song is exile. Exile. I like the idea that they have no punishment other than exile. <laughs> yeah, they're just like, that's it. <laughs> the planet is growing like sparser and sparser. <laughs> get off. Exile. You. <laughs> Didn't pay your taxes. Get off. You. <laughs> Murder the regent. Get off. <laughs> Jaywalking. Exile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like the capital is uh, overly harsh here. Yeah. Kind of kind of harsh. Buzz. Um, I dig it. 
Uh, all right, we should um, move to Capital Parliament. Yeah. yeah. I've literally never played this location. I'm very excited. Awesome. Uh, so have you always taken the inside track? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Or I've played like one shots that didn't didn't get very far. Yeah, my big bad con one shot got to the capital cluster, and that's where we ended. Nice. Well, we're we're going all the way. (laughs) Maybe we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully, we got to get to the black hole. No, we got to get to yes, that's what. Yeah. This map, it's so rad. Okay, uh, (laughs) I'm gonna move the liminal for funsies. Um, but I'm also going to adjust the view here. So we're showing up on stream. All right. Is that visible? Okay, there we go. Capital Parliament. The hospitality of founder Aurora. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, I mean, uh, if it's if it's like, just Kamala being naive and it's totally farcical, then this wouldn't make any sense. But I, I'm wondering if the reason why we would go to the capital parliament um, beyond it just being on the path <laughs> is to try and clear Rebo's <laughs> name. Like, I, I, I love of, the idea that like we 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 leave the capital cluster and like Kamala has this conversation with the liminal. Like, no, 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 we have to go to the capital parliament because we need to clear Pog's name. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> So yeah, so that's my that 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 that's it. I think Kamala is just like doing this. Uh, she's 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 she doesn't care if she's the bad fly. Um, <laughs> so we're like we're like uh, Callisto and uh, and Nemo are in um, a part of the, the the ship that can sort of see the star cluster. Or not even like the, not even not 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 see outside, but you can see like on the crystalline displays. You can see like the star readout. And the path, the gateway path we should take should totally go to uh, the Italian flotilla um, uh, uh, or, 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 you know, obviously it should be going somewhere. And suddenly it's like very clear that our path is not the one that you're expecting. And um, when uh, I, I, I'm going to bring Jay's character in for just a moment. Um, and Ori, you know, when this is reported to Ori, Ori, who is typically the navigator, um, says that it cannot adjust the course for whatever reason. And, um, and instead we see the, the ship turned up to, um, fly towards the lush and lavish and very wealthy, um, uh, world of capital parliament. Um, and as we see the ship approaching it, we cut to um, uh, Callisto and and Nebo finding Kamala, and she's got her two. She's got like hooves, like <laughs> on the, the the glowing crystal of the liminal, and uh, and she looks up and says, "The liminal agrees. We need to clear your name, Nebo." <laughs> This is this is part of our journey. <laughs> this is what we're doing. Okay. Yep, doing it. But we're all gonna get exiled after this. I just want to let you know that's the only punishment here on this planet. <laughs> <gasps> um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sean, Sean is laughing, but Kamala is dead serious, and she, <laughs> um, 
she's she's, <laughs> like, she's like did you did you i don't think you've always been honest with me i mean clearly pog isn't your name or maybe everyone or maybe nevo's nickname i don't know i'm confused <laughs> But just tell me, did you do the things that they exiled you for? Maybe just a little bit, but it wasn't just me. There was a whole bunch of us, but I was the only one that got exiled. And on your, in the capital, is there any way to absolve your, uh, atone for the things that you've done? Um, well, the next thing is execution, so no. I don't want to be executed. <laughs> Come on, it's just like, wait, 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 yeah. wait. <laughs> Hold on, I thought exile was the only punishment. Yeah. And cut there. That's my scene. I didn't look at the things that you could do here. I probably should have done that before. I was like, we're going to go have a, go have, defend you. In, oh, clearly in the court of honor is a place we're going to end up having to yes. visit. There we go. There we go. Uh, before we frame scenes in there, why don't we, it's uh, seven, so why don't we take another break and cool. we'll be back in Capitol Parliament. Yay. Yay. Get this going. See you guys all shortly.